Guys, welcome to today's video where I want to talk to you about roof light bars. Now, right now, I currently have an extremely powerful Oxbeam 5D Pro light bar up there. I think this thing is awesome if you do like really fast desert running and stuff, but it's just like way too powerful for me. I have to like budget which items I use at the same time because I'm afraid of popping my 60 amp circuit breaker on my aux beam switch panel, meaning I can't use all my accessories at the same time for fear of exceeding that power rating. So I need to reduce power and downsize and also get that awesome low profile look I was looking for. To start with, I'm unboxing the last fit 42 inch roof light bar here. Here. As you can see, it's all protected just like it should be. It's got really nice amber hue to it with a nice low profile look. And as you can see, I'm getting a little help here, but it's got the side brackets and bottom brackets to suit a universal application. So whatever the vehicle or mounting application you have, these brackets make it easy. And now I'm just gonna get started on showing you the difference between the light bar I currently have, which kind of lets a lot of air underneath it and it makes a little bit of noise because that air can go underneath my tent and make a disturbance under there. So really looking to sit the light bar a lot lower directly on top of the roof rack. So now I'm just getting everything ready on the last fit 42 inch single row light bar to make it sit as low as possible going with that side bracket setting that allows for that to be mounted very, very low. If you haven't seen my roof rack light bar install video, I show you how to get these flat slot nuts that go into the rails of your roof rack and how you can basically have a universal application and unbolt and bolt in new parts as you get them. So it's very modular. Check that video out if you haven't already. And I am loving the look of this low profile light bar from last fit, especially the amber color. It really just suits the look that I am going for. Now I have the problem of the connectors not lining up. So I did get the harness for the last fit one and I'm gonna show you how you can get new LED off-road lights on your vehicle without having to rewire everything throughout the car. All right, I got my moral support here to do some wiring, which is definitely welcome. So I cut and stripped the wires down and now I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the harness side that came from last fit. Now, if you haven't already installed the roof light bar, you can go ahead and watch my previous video I mentioned before and go ahead and see how I routed that along the windshield and all that good stuff. But here, I am just butt connecting these wires together and joining them to the brand new last fit uh, connector so that the light bar connector is compatible with the other wiring that's already in place. So I don't have to go in and replace all the wiring, get all the relays and stuff figured out. All I need to do is replace the connector with the correct one that fits the light bar and I'm good to go. So now I'm just plugging one last fit connector into the other. And now let's go ahead and make sure everything works like it's supposed to. And my switch panel may be giving away some spoilers for what's coming next for the rig. So go ahead and take a look if you're interested. Anyways, check out how clean this amber low profile light bar is on top of my roof rack. Now I'm just stuffing the rest of the wires down into these windshield mounted wire hiders that I showed in a previous video. And that just makes it super easy to hide wiring and all that good stuff. So it looks super clean and makes it really easy to do projects like this in the future. And I'm all about making stuff easier on my future self. All I have left to do is to basically hide this wiring behind the roof rack and zip tie it down. I'm going to save this wiring for any other wire projects that I'm doing in the future. I'm definitely holding on to this other light bar in case one day I may feel like I need more light. But honestly, I think that this light bar will provide the perfect amount of light. It has the exact look I'm going for. 
and I think it looks really clean on top of my JW off-road roof rack. So guys, let me know what you think of this last fit 42 inch light bar. I'm gonna leave all product links in the description for you to check out. I'm personally very happy with the quality and can't wait to give it some use out on the trails at night. I have some massive build update videos coming at you soon, so make sure to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.